Pencils down. Pencils. Pencils down. Pencils down. This is it. Wow, guys. Wow, man. Back in action. Back at Sister it. Sister Act Two. Back in the habit. And if you is guys that... were, if you guys listened to last week's ramble, yeah, you know that we're recording this ramble immediately after that ramble. Immediately after. Which pre, which we recorded immediately after for ramble is this radio our videos. Pop radio. The champagne bottle we did is this our celebratory is this like, this is the victory lap this ramble is the last one is this just of like, the marathon of we, rambles that we did it i mean it's amazing that we could talk for three straight hours and not about absolutely and, and talk about absolutely nothing just dumb shit we love right literally ramble for it's, three hours i mean man you think kevin feige had a vision and putting you st- those 22 movies right? together okay oh cool we just walk come in, yeah, podcast great, great. For, plan it out whatever podcast for three anyone hours, can pal. plan shit out Right. I know what they're going to talk about. <laughs> Come, yeah. And you guys still have a whole Ramble Radio video radio to listen to to watch That's, on Friday. I know. And do they have a Tuesday one? They've no. already listened to the Tuesday one yesterday. That's right. This is January 8th. This is January 8th. There's a they n- listen to the 7th. Fuck. And they still have the uh, 8, 9, 10, 10th? The 10th, 10th one, Ramble Radio video is radio to listen to. the wings. To. That bullet Just waiting. has yet to be fired. It's waiting. That six shots are coming. <laughs> It's, uh, it's fucking... It's phenomenal. What we've done. <laughs> <laughs> All because we love you guys. And we love you and so much. And we don't much. want you we to not have you know the content. We want, look, even if it's dumb, 45 minutes, non-traditional, we want them to listen to something. Right. So that means next week, have your open, close, encore. It is uh, the Ghostbusters movies throw a concert. What's the open, open close, close, encore? encore. Weird Al Yankovic goes what in the hat? parody hat. What parody hat does he what go in the What parody's on there? And you're, you're probably top- thinking eat it. I'm think maybe I'm thinking eat it. I don't know. And then I would think eat it. Top ten rise of Skywalker moments. moments. And the more I see the movie, the more moments there are. There really are. There really are. God, we last ramble. We touched on. I'm still a little. I love you. I know. I could, I feel stupid. That yeah, I feel dumb not knowing to see Han Solo go. I know, and not I go. Know. Oh yeah. And, oh yeah. Dad. I know. I know. That Fuck. was. God, that makes that scene even better. That was oh. already a great scene. And then it's, oh, I can't believe I missed it. Like, if you it. had told me going into that movie yeah. that there was going to be a, a scene where Ben is having an imaginary conversation with Han Solo, I'd be like, Wah. and that's how he turns from Kylo Ren to Ben Solo, I'd be like, ugh, how Yikes. are you going to handle that? Yikes. And they fucking did it. And they did it. And they did it. They did it. They, oh, man. I don't know. I Less wrong with it. The, Plus, I mean, and and the way that scene helps you feel better about the scene from Force Awakens. Yes, way because he touches him on the cheek, he touches he him on the face, everything. and it, yeah. it it makes that scene not. I, it makes you feel better about that scene because yes. that was a hard. That's still a hard scene for me to watch in Star Wars. That's probably Ep- one of the most difficult scenes to Episode watch. Episode seven. Stuff. Yes, that was rough when he kills Han Solo. Even though y'all you knew it was going to happen, you knew it was going to happen. It's still there was hard no to way see. Harrison Ford was going to come back and be in another trilogy. No, he was done. He was like he wanted to die in Return of the Jedi. Yeah, he didn't want to be in this one. But which this- does that make Return of the Jedi in hindsight a better film if they killed Han Solo yes. like he wanted to? At yes. The end? Does it? It yeah. gives it the bottom that he said it wa- it needed. Yeah. He said like, it needed the emotional bottom, which it like, did not have. Oh God. Yeah. yeah, Han Solo, Han Solo and Chewie flying the Millennium Falcon into the Death Star and, and blowing it up, blowing it up, and you're like, "Oh fuck, man! This 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 victory took a lot of sacrifice." Yes, are we? There it, was no sacrifice given, really. Who died? Darth Vader's the one who sacrificed. That was it? But he was already the bad guy. But no guy. one in the rebellion sacrificed. Yeah, for that victory. That was it. Just a couple of dumb aliens. Yeah, <laughs> that one Ewok that yeah. bought it. Like <laughs> no. <laughs> That fucking one Ewok and some fucking stormtroopers and some rebel guy. But, like, no one. No one really sacrificed. Yeah. Didn't cost much. No. Yeah, that's a good point. Damn good So that point. would have been a much better movie had that happened. I think so, too. I think you're right. I think it gets wet. Man, what Talk about fan service. That's a movie full, full of fan service. Which one? Return of the Return Jedi? Of Jedi. Yeah, nothing bad happens. Yeah, nothing yeah. bad happens. I mean, it like, dude, the road had fan service. That depressing <laughs> downer because it followed the book pretty good. Yeah. So if you're a fan of the book, that movie was fan service. Yeah. That downer of a fucking movie. Ugh. Like just where the sad shit, just sad shit keeps happening <laughs> to this dude and his fucking kid after an apocalypse. That had that was fan service. Yeah. Fuck off. Jesus Christ. The Godfather was fan service showing young Vito rising to power. Godfather 2 killing motherfucker. I mean, come on. Yeah. <laughs> 
Jesus. Like what, what was that fucking movie with uh, Tom Selleck and Gene Simmons with the robot spiders? Oh, whatever happened to the templates, Ramsey? Uh, <laughs> Striker? No, no that was Stryker. Reynolds. Um, I'm looking this what up. What the fuck? That had fan service. Yes, because you got to see Jim Gene Simmons really, <laughs> really let run away, run away, really let loose as an actor. That God, was, what a that movie was all fan service. That was such a pile. That was fans going, you know what? We love him so much in Kiss. Let's see him we act. We need more. We need more Gene Simmons. Dude, I had such a crush on Cynthia Rhodes. Oh, yeah. His partner. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Okay, something I had no idea about Runaway. Directed by Michael Crichton. Really? Michael Crichton directed Runaway. Really? My, imagine Michael Crichton writing all these classic novels, and he's got to put up with Gene Simmons. <laughs> you know what? I got it. I'm getting my first chance. That's of right. Kirstie Alley was in the. Yeah. God, she was so hot in that. Fuck. Was that before or after she was Cybok? I believe. Let's see. Because that Runaway was, that was pre Rathacon. Let me see. Eighty four is Runaway. Oh wait, she wasn't in Rathacon. She was she in Rathacon? She was in Rathacon. Or was she in Search for Spock? They she switched was in her out. Rathacon. Rathacon. She was in Rathacon. That's right. Rath. Eighty two. Eighty two. Post Rathacon. Post Rathacon. Eight. Yeah. Eighty two was Rathacon. Which? So Rathacon, she did. Then they're like, "Hey, we want you for Search of Spock." She's like, "Fuck that! I'm big now. I'm gonna. I'm be, doing. I'm in. I'm in this movie with robots. I, I'm acting with Gene Simmons and robot acid shooting spiders. <laughs> oh, and by the way, Tom Selleck. And Tom Selleck's like, "Well, look, I said I couldn't do Indiana Jones. How about this? Well, we start this French, the the Runaway French. Let's launch this thing. <laughs> runaway. Uh, better." Is it better if every time something happened in Runaway, yeah. like any action scene, it just did. Da, 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 it's like the Bon Jovi song. Say the Runaway. Like, would that be better? Daddy's calling. <laughs> what do, do you think? think it's now time for a reboot of Runaway? Only if. She's a little runaway. That play. Oh, That's yeah. every action sequence. Da, 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 da. Like, like, oh, they're those those robot spiders. Hold on, let me okay, start you're this card. You're da, in a da, dark da, movie da, da, theater da, da, before da, da. some movie start. Say we're a Black Widow. We go to Black right. Widow opening yep. night. Yeah. And we're watching the trailers, and it's a teaser trailer. It's all black, and you just hear someone heavy doing heavy breathing, like, <sighs> like they're scared, like they're running from something. Right. And all of a sudden, you hear huge pop. And then the lights come on. Like you, you, like the guy turns around, and there's a fucking robot spider on Massive his shoulder. Pop. Do you get a big pop? Massive. Pop. Or is it just like collective? What the fuck is happening? <laughs> you and I <laughs> lose our shit. Everyone else is like. And then you see Gene Simmons pop out of the dark. I'm back. I'm back. Can't keep a good man down. How old are you? How old are you? Ooh, that old, huh? Eighteen. Ooh. <laughs> it'd be better if like. <laughs> that would be funnier if like Gene Simmons is in it, but in his contract he has to quote a line from a Kiss song <laughs> every every other sentence he says. <laughs> well, these templates are here, but every time that bitch bends over, I forget my name. Wow. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh God. Um. All right. The, uh, okay. Can we talk about Gene Simmons' quotes for Runaway? Yeah. He quote. He's quoted. The film marked the first feature acting role for rock star Gene Simmons. He had been in, of course, Kiss, Kiss Meets the Phantom of the Park. Simmons had been interested in acting for a while. He had uh, he had studied it since eighty one. He turned down it. He turned he down. He studied it since eighty one. Did there. it in eighty two. I sat there and I watched people, and I knew I was better. Like that's him studying. I guarantee you. I went to a class and I knew I was. How better. can they say he's been studying <laughs> since eighty one, and the movie Runaway. was eighty four? Runaway was eighty four. Oh. So he had three years. Okay. All he right. goes. He turned down a TV series which wanted to exploit his Kiss fame as well as his parts in Flashdance and Doctor Detroit, and he turned it down because. I wasn't interested in musicals or comedy. I wanted that to start out in something serious. I understand brooding characters more than I do splashy people. God, he's a douchebag. He was offered the part after meeting Michael Crichton and did not have to read for it. Oh. <laughs> I didn't see Luther as evil, Simmons said. Simmons said, but as a deadly animal who kills when someone gets in his way. Crichton didn't want me to memorize a script or talk to my acting coach. His direction was, don't be afraid. Try different things. Oh. <laughs> God. Uh, He's a bigger douchebag than I thought. You think? Yeah. 
it wasn't the Christine sixteen didn't didn't, nah, that <laughs> didn't sucks steal too. that one for you. Um, but that that even that that whole spiel right there reaffirms my hatred for Kiss. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, I feel even more justified hating Kiss. So you want to know what it was up against? Yeah, what With did a multi million dollar budget, big name actors, and a world famous author as both its writer and director. Runaway was planned as 1984's major science fiction. Draw. Really. However, 84, it was because that's a year after Return of the Jedi. It was overshadowed by Star Trek Three: The Search for Spock. Of course, that had to hurt Allie there. Oh fuck you, Allie! Uh, 2010, the year we make Contact. Well, that wasn't not good. that good, but but a lot of hype coming from 2001. Right. So you have 2010, you have Star Trek Three. You have a big, you have two big fiction, sequels, and then you. the big one: James Cameron's Terminator. <laughs> Terminator was 84. Uh, yeah. 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 Oh, dude. That uh, did not help. No. Did not help that one. Holy shit. Run away. It, 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 yeah, it's spiders. When you have Arnold fucking, fucking Schwarzenegger as a robot. You have a fucking Terminator. <laughs> you have a And his little acid shooting spiders. A little spider. And fucking Gene Simmons' fucking awful hair. <laughs> How unworried is Sarah Connor at the spider? If that shows up at Tech Noir to kill, She's like, her. wait a second, I don't, I don't need to fuck. You don't even this need guy. to send Reese back. In I don't time. need to fuck Reese. No, I, he's not all. even there. We don't need a John Connor. Okay, I'll, okay, oh, okay. Here, give me a broomstick. <laughs> I'm going to get, get rid, rid of these, these fucking spiders. things <laughs> in five minutes. <laughs> oh man, oh. run away! Wow. Oh, she's a little run away. It's better if that happens. Oh yeah, right? It's not worse. No. Uh -uh. I know we've kind of touched on this before. Um, what, what, <laughs> I, I haven't seen Marriage Story on Netflix. Have I haven't seen, seen that it? either. Andre said it was all right. You I know heard that, it's really sad. Yes. I don't know if I want to see it. But yeah. would it be better if the movie ends? <laughs> Hold on. I got it. I want to do this proper justice. Okay. All right. Uh, think of a really s traditionally sad movie that you. Terms of Endearment. Terms of Endearment. Very sad movie. Okay. okay. Perfect. All right. Is it better? <laughs> I want to surprise you with this. One. All right. I want you to close your eyes. All right. Did you, are, is the ending of Terms of Endearment in your head? Yes. All right. And we're going to credits. It's fading to okay, black. Okay, we're fading. Yeah. Wake up in the morning and I raise my weary head. I've got a no cold for a pillow. And the earth was last night's bed. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going. Oh okay, okay. God knows All, right. All right. Now do that with Schindler's List. <laughs> Wake up in the morning and I All the survivors are putting weary. their <laughs> the rocks on Schindler's grave. <laughs> I've got a no go for in the earth last night's bed. I don't know where I'm going. Only God knows where I've been. I'm a devil on the run. The six gun lover. A candle. Is everybody in theater like, what the fuck is happening? What did we just want? <laughs> it's all the survivors. These are the real survivors. <laughs> it's Spielberg's like, no, this. Look, well, this is, I know what song well, we're going to play. <laughs> bow, bow, I know it was used before. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> oh, you know that's my favorite Shot. film. Shot down. Best Western ever. Yeah, yeah. Young Guns too. You got to put that at the end of every movie. Does that enhance every movie? Yeah. If the ending, we had this discussion before yes. about uh, the end of Cobra. If you take the, you the, got the touch. You've got no. It, that was supposed to be you got right. the touch. Right. But, but the other, the sexual song that was actually the end right. of Cobra. Put that. Put that at the end of every movie. Every sad movie <laughs> I makes think, it instantly better. I think and Blaze of Glory. I think you put make Blaze of Glory yeah, more yeah. better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think so. What about? Um, Tell me, Michael. I just this one time, Kate asked me about my business. Was it you? No. And then you see Kate looking. They're swearing in. Michael Corleone is a godfather. The door closes. Wake up, up in, in the morning. morning and I my sweet <laughs> hand. I got an old coat for a pillow in the earth. <laughs> I think that makes every movie. 
14 minutes. 14 minutes. Seconds. Should we do we even sing? Why not? We Why not? Sing. What are we singing? I think I know. Uh, <laughs> I think I have an idea. <laughs> Did we give it away already? Oh, we might have. We you already know the first verse three times now. So Wake up in the morning and I raise my weary head. I got an old cool photo film in the urns last night's bed. I don't know where I'm going. Only God knows where I've been. I'm a devil on the run. A six gun lover. A candle in the wind. What's that mean again? I don't know. Diana, the Princess Diana or, or Is it a call back Marilyn Monroe? But when you're brought into this world, they say you're born to see. True, very true. Well, at least they gave, gave me something. I didn't have to steal or have to win. But they tell me that I'm wanted. Yeah, I'm wanted. <laughs> I'm your colt in the stable. I'm what Cain was to Abel. Whoa, whoa, he killed his brother? Mr. Catch Me If You Can. Mr. Catch Me If You Can. Shot. Da, I'm going. So what do you think? Yeah. Right? Lord, I never drew first. Lord, I never drew first, but I drew first blood. <laughs> Call me Young Gun. Oh, man, welcome, everybody. Ramble 214. Two we four, did it. 214. They buried us, what, three? Three or four. 211 rambles later. Three or four. Later. But yeah. Four, let's say four. 210 rambles 210 later. rambles later. We're here still we here. In a blaze of glory. In a blaze of glory. Ending this marathon of rambles that right. we've recorded, right. pre-recorded for everybody. Right. Okay. All right. okay. All right. Let me go. And let's end it with this. We keep with, I mean, not right now. We still have. No, we still have a little ways to go. 30 minutes. 30 minutes but of rambling to do. What if. Let's take it a step further. Okay. Think of another really sad movie. Okay, Schindler's List. Schindler's List, yeah. Okay, we have we're yeah. in the middle of the movie. Okay, or okay. in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. And everything's the same. Okay. And then it just cuts to the shot. He's, he sees the the girl in the red jacket. Yeah. He's dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. And then that we start right after that. Okay. And then it cuts, and it's still in black and white. They did it for this. Yeah, yeah. And you just see a house surrounded yeah. by federales. <laughs> and then you hear keep something go, Billy, let's finish the game. <laughs> and they just have that scene where Keeper Sutherland. They just intercut Young Guns 2. <laughs> that one scene in- <laughs> where, where Keeper Sutherland. <laughs> Billy! Let's finish the game. Let's finish the game. And he takes 800 bullets. <laughs> <laughs> and then it, it goes right back. <laughs> they just go right back. Does anyone? Does anyone like? Do you get up? Do you ask? You go. What's going on? Or do you just buy into it? Are you just. What was that scene? Four, three minutes, maybe when Doc dies. Or yeah. Guns too. Is yeah. it even worth? <laughs> or or at the end of Schindler's List or Terms of Endearment. Yeah. Kramer versus Kramer. Oh, Kramer versus Kramer. Marriage Story. Good one. The road. Oh, the road. Do you have the laughably, <laughs> the uh, Emilio Estevez in the laughable old man paint, <laughs> old man makeup job? As William H. Bonney. <laughs> Did I like him? I love the son of a bitch. Do you, do you have that? <laughs> That's the... <laughs> oh. Is this so far episode 204, put Blaze of Glory at the end credit of every movie? Oh. You cowards. Uh, put Blaze of Glory. You cowards. Blaze of Glory as the end credit song in every movie. Right? I think so. <laughs> Wake up in the morning. <laughs> and then I raise, raise my, my weary head. head. I oh, got cool, an old for the flow. In the years of last night's that's poetry. Ladies I'm sorry, everyone. I don't. I mean, <laughs> poetry. Who writes better than that? Uh, not Gene I've, Simmons. Uh, uh, no, not Gene Simmons. That bitch bends over. I forget my name. Are Come you kidding? on, fucking lyrical, John Bond. Nothing lyrical about John that. John Bond's not going to do that, is he? No. Fuck. He's no. got some class. John Bond ain't going there. He tells a story. He does, and you know it. I'm what Kane was to Abel, Mister Catch Me If You Can. The great Marley is all about you. Marley's right now. all up in this shit. He already hogged our first radio. He did. Radio, even though it's video now, it's radio. 
Does that, that makes it better, right? So yeah, remember, so. Uh, ramble at the ramblepod.com. Please follow us on Twitter at Podcast Ramble One, Instagram at Podcast Ramble. Um, subscribe to the Ramble, give it a five star rating, a positive text review, all Do that it. good shit. All that stuff. Thank go you to our everyone YouTube who page. has. Yeah, go to our subscribe. YouTube page, subscribe, give thumbs up to the Ramble Radio's videos. Also, Follow us on uh, Instagram, our own pages. Uh, Eddie has a CD called Tastes Like Pennies. It's right there on iTunes. I have a couple you could buy on iTunes. Buy those. Give those five-star ratings and positive text reviews. Yes. You hear us on Sirius XM, Spotify. Crank that shit. I got Can my... I get all these plugs out of the way? I think so. I got my paperwork done with Comedy Dynamics, so hopefully <gasps> hopefully we'll start seeing. They, hopefully they can get it somewhere. It's going to happen. Soon. You will see the unspecial. Hopefully somewhere other soon. than YouTube. That's the goal. It will happen, buddy. Um... Lake Tahoe, January 15th to the 19th. I'll be at the Lake Tahoe Improv. Harvey's headlining headlining the Irvine Improv. Eddie will be there. I will be there. January 22nd in Irvine. Get so your get down now. there, Ramblers. Uh, Salt Lake City. I'll be headlining Wise Guys in Jordan Landing uh, January 31st through February 1st. San Diego. I'll be headlining La Stats. Um, That's a fun room. February 18th. Might as well do this, too. Do it all, dude. February 28th and 29th, I'll be in Houston, Texas, headlining the Comedy Hub. Okay. So get your tickets now. I have a, I have a All show that's to, on my I have website. A sh- I have a show to plug, Please too. Let do me it. see where it is. Let me find Fuck it. yeah. I have a show coming up in Burbank, hey. January 31st, 8 p.m. There it is. Comedy a la carte at the Burbank VFW. I love it. $20 cover, two item minimum. You'll you can be, go to Comedy it. ALC.com for tickets. Go to my oh my website, jerryrochecomedy.com. And nice. all my show tickets are there. If you're in Salt Lake City, I'll be at Jordan Landing. If you're in Lake Tahoe, come see me at Harvey's. If you're in San Diego, come see me at Lestat's. If you're in Houston, come see me at the Comedy Hub. And if you're in Irvine, come see Eddie and I. Yeah, do it. It's all there on the if website. You're in Burbank at the VFW Hall. Come on. Can we talk about Dexter Jetster for a minute? Can we look I I don't know if you guys saw the Ramble, our Christmas exchange Ramble yes. radio, video radio. I, I found Eddie a You gave me a mint, Dexter. Mint and co- Is he mint wearing a box. Puma shirt? Is that a Puma logo? Looks like it's Puma. It sure Looks does. Looks like he's got a Puma logo on his shirt. Hey, Obi, I got my Obi. new Puma. Yeah. I never knew he had a, a ponytail. Yeah, he did. He, uh, yeah, I he, didn't realize Yeah, look that. at the ponytail. Yeah, he has a ponytail. Yeah. Still the dumbest thing ever? I would think so. I don't know how people... If you don't jump off Star Wars at that point, I don't know how... That's how you know we're true fans. Yeah. We stayed with it after that guy. Yeah. That's the low point. <laughs> is there a lower point than Dexter Jetster? That is... I mean, I would only argue in the same movie, see 3 pos head going onto a battle droid. Give me that over this. Really? Give me that over De- Dude, Dexter Okay, Jetster. even when R2 comes, pulls off c 3 pos head. Right is dragging his head what a drag. through the arena. He's like, oh, what a drag. That's better than Dexter Jetster. That's even. Even. It's even. <laughs> even. But I still think Dexter is the lowest point. It's he is. The, it's the lowest point of the storytelling. He's the Mavs of the 90s. Of Like, that is the lowest point. Is <laughs> He's the current Washington Redskins. <laughs> it, just, it, it, just, it just doesn't get. It doesn't get worse hey, than it does OB. right now. Obi, I sure like to help you with this case, you Jedi Master, but I gotta work the register today because <laughs> the host just got hit by your boyfriend, so I can't help you too much, Obi. I gotta go. A fucking baby just puked in the sugar container. <laughs> this fucking thing. I gotta make sure I can get out the puke without having to throw out all that sugar. Obi, I gotta tell you. Ooh. The line cooks are a little soft, and he keeps giving the bathroom key to this homeless guy who shits all over the place. I've caught him in there several times blowing people for food. I got to get rid of him, Obi, and then I can help you with your little poison dart. <laughs> like, that's how stupid that <laughs> fucking was. <laughs> I sure love to help you, buddy, but I got three minutes left on my break, and my manager's been up my ass all fucking week. Obi, I'd love to help you with your question, but uh, someone shit in the sink. <laughs> I gotta get in there and clean it out. It's really fucking up the pancakes. I can't <laughs> do this. Someone's shitting the pancake batter. <laughs> so unless you want shitty pancakes, I gotta get back there. <laughs> you can <laughs> play, you can have one of two things. The answer to your problem but shit in your pancakes. Or clean pancakes. Or a fresh stack of pancakes. Can I tell you tomorrow? <laughs> what is gonna what be? do you want, Obi? What'll it be, old pal? <laughs> 
Oh, fuck. Oh. Is he going to be in the Obi-Wan show? Oh, please. <laughs> Are they going to redeem him He somehow? needs some redemption. <laughs> does he? Or does he, he does. never need to be spoken of or seen <laughs> ever again? Oh, is, Dexter Jetster. How untouchable is Favreau if he writes the episode that redeems Dexter Jetster? If he does a Dexter Jetster series? If he can make him cool. If anyone could do it, Favreau could. It has to. I mean, who else is there? Who else is there? Obi. Obi. My waitress is on her period. <laughs> Unless you want pushy blood on those fries. <laughs> You're going to have to. Unless you want real blood in your Shirley Temple. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to hold off on this poison diet question. <laughs> I can't tell if it's a cherry jar or just a fucking bunch of pussy. <laughs> or just a big load of pussy juice, Obi. <laughs> pussy blood. <laughs> oh, my God. Glad you've trained for so long since being a two-year-old <laughs> that it all comes down to this, Obi. <laughs> you got to ask a fry cook to help you find where this dart comes from. <laughs> Oh, hold on. How long have you been a no Jedi? No more fucking refills for you. How many times have I told you? The sign says one refill. The sign says one. You've had three now. Get the fuck out, you degenerate piece of shit. You degenerate fucking <laughs> piece of shit. Uh, To-go cups cost a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hold on a second, Obi. No Twi'leks allowed. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's a I don't like their kind here. I don't like them in here, Obi. Trying to turn tricks by the jukebox. <laughs> <laughs> so, they got their own diner down the street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. fuck. It just... Mm. Yeah, how, do you, <laughs> mm -mm -mm. how do you redeem him? Yeah, no I don't way. know. I think he's irredeemable. Who who is more redeemable, Jar Jar or Dexter? Jar Jar, Jar Jar. Because right? there are there's an entire generation that grew up loving Jar right. Jar. And we if you get actually it. watch the Clone Wars cartoon series, there are some episodes where Jar Jar does some things. He's not a headache. He's he's a he's a headache, but they all know he's a headache. But he does a couple things where he does redeem yeah. some stuff. This guy he shows up nowhere again. Never. Never again. There is a him. Jedi named Krell who looks like him, who's the same species. Christ. Who is a he leads the clones into battle and he puts them in he ends up putting them in all these awful battle maneuvers that get a lot of them killed and you she's find out moron. later that he's a dark Jedi and he's trying to impress uh, Count Dooku to be his next apprentice. Oh wow. Huh. And they end up killing him. The oh, clones good. end up killing him. Good. Yeah. You don't need him. No. Okay, sucks. So it's the same. It's the same, same species. Race, race of General dipshits. Krell. Species of dipshits. Yeah. A species of fucking Mongolby. <laughs> what sucks that one of them's a Jedi and the other one's a fry cook. They're probably brothers. <laughs> Are we gonna Google Dexter Jetster? Yeah. Does he have a Wikipedia page? He has to. Nicknamed Dexy Jet was a male. Dexy was. Jet. He's Did he dead? die? Oh, who killed Dexter? Obi, they killed me. Oh, Obi. They had enough of my shit. Fucking hooker stabbed me in the throat. Because <laughs> I wouldn't let her use a sinner. <laughs> I told her to stop shooting up that crank in my joint. That's all she does. Right into her ditch. It's awkward, Obi. So she stabbed me in the throat. I'm serving five-year-olds a milkshake, and they're going to go into the bathroom and see her. And turn tricks. And shooting shoot heroin up her pussy lips. Because those are the only places where there's no marks yet, Obi. And then I got little kids coming out of the bathroom going, why is there all this pussy blood? <laughs> Obi. Obi, what the fuck? What's it say? Um, He's dead? He was ri originally written to be married to his waitress, Hermione Bagua. Oh, we, I'm sure Luke is like, it's not working. <laughs> Um, Dexter Jetster was a male. Was Besalisk with a colorful background who lived in the and was the owner of Dex's Diner, um, serving mostly hard workers from the area. 
and fresh the, brewed the diner Jawa offered juice. high home style cooked meals and freshly brewed Jawa juice. This is so funny. He employed two stupid. waitresses and a waitress droid. His partner great. named Flo. Gently tries to just have more faith in than the knowledge of. Okay. What, okay. okay what just tell us where he got killed. Wait. Oh, they, there's an actual backstory. Oh. Jetster traveled to Athos Klee to investigate rumors of a cybernetic augmentation and cloning done by criminal syndicates. Why? He's a fry cook. What does he give a fuck? He discovered the Crimson Dawn. They stole that from Die Hard. Uh, remember, that was one of the terrorist groups in Die oh, Hard yeah, that Hans Gruber in. named. Was advertising for workers to mine ore. Who? What is this shit? Before the Clone Wars, Dex's Diner was known to have the best Nerf burgers ever. What happened? At, oh. Stole nearby. Oh, okay. Stop the robberies. This is so stupid. <sighs> His Wikipedia. I'm not even going to read it. It's so <laughs> fucking dumb. Come on. Come on, Jerry. Jerry, Jerry let him know about it. Come me. on, guy. I was banging You didn't my... vomit after you ate my pussy juice covered <laughs> nerf burger. I'm fucking a robot waitress droid. <laughs> there's another one. So there was a waitress joy, droid. Named and then Flo. D- Get it? It's a callback. That's who he was supposed to be married to. Enough. Oh, my bullshit. Stop it. Portrayed by Ash- a- Australian actress Susie Porter. Oh, stop it. Oh. Enough. She grew up with it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look what I was able to nab. Look at that. Can you believe it? I, I, nailed, me, I nailed me one of them humans. I got a cock like Vern Lundquist. <laughs> so they say. It's big and stubby. <laughs> and there's four of them. <laughs> I got four cocks. Oh, God. This is. It's, 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 He's got that, two cocks. He's got four arms, so he has two cocks. Two cocks. That's no question. laws of nature. That right? is. I mean, how else do you feel? I have himself? one cock and two arms. Two arms. So he's got four, four arms and two, two cocks. I mean, it makes sense. It don't makes it? the most sense. That's four sets. All of, the sense? All the sense? All of them? Oh, I think. I nailed me a human. <laughs> she likes it when I do her. Up the ass. Up the ass with my one dick <laughs> while my other dick gets her in the pussy. It's my version of the shocker, Obi. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you ramble six hours, six episodes, and we're at two fifteen in the morning. Obi, Fuck me. come here, big guy. It's my version of the shocker. Can we talk about his toy? Like why they have like lightning marks on all of his his act? Equipment? His uh, I guess his cleaver, his meat cleaver, because he's in a diner, has a lightning. Bolt around it. Around it. So it's like an electric cleaver? Like an electric cleaver. Or it's got Palpatine's force lightning. Force energy. Like he just gets a little bit of that juice to just do it. And this is the dumbest. That's, oh, God. That's what makes the girls this, come, Obi. <laughs> it's an electric meat cleaver. <laughs> I almost threatened to shove it up the pushy. And they like it. They like the fear, Obi. I don't ever do it. But just the fear that I might. I like to look in their eyes. <laughs> Anyway, this dart looks like it comes from cloners. Oh, okay, cool, thanks. Thanks. Like, that guy just wouldn't have an instant job in the fucking Jedi Council. He, like, he's Why our, is he not working there? How is he? <laughs> go cook burgers, you fucking I love loser. making Jawa juice. But come and tell us. <laughs> oh, my God. And another, and the nerve wearing open-toed shoes in open-toed, a diner. In a diner. This in a fucking diner. You're a cook at the diner. slob. You're wearing open-toed, open-toed shoes. Open-toed shoes, this guy. Man, fucking we've had piece, enough of that. That's turd. Are we happy that we have a new Batman figure to fuck? I think so. Way? Are we retiring the old one, or does he going to still make it? I think he'll make some appearances, but Don't I think we, he, this guy needs to get a train run. Yeah, on. you've already seen now, yeah. too. Dexter ran one on him. Dexter got him. I mean, uh, your parents are dead. Well, I'll wipe those tears right off. Here, here let me give you a shocker. <laughs> let me give you the old Camino dart. <laughs> The El Camino dart. <laughs> Jesus, we're almost delirious. We're bordering on delirious. Oh, it's been a lot of rambling. It's been a lot. This fucking Dexter figure is going to start talking to me soon. <laughs> like any minute now, it's going, hey, Jer. Hey, Jer. You're still going. Can't believe you're still talking about me. I'm, I'm going to have to edit these tomorrow, I think. That's fine. And I edit them, but you know what I mean. You know, post them. We don't ever edit our rambles. Why? You're getting unedited Proof rambles positive. every time. <laughs> Proof, imagine if we had bosses, the... Well, there's pussy juice all over this pancake, Obi. That's not. You different. can't put that out there. You can't. You can't. You can't put that out to the masses. We said pussy juice several times. Oh, fuck. this is the most we've ever said pussy blood. This is true. 
But this is a direct result of a two fifteen in the AM right. ramble. You cannot expect after right five other rambles because we see the finish line. Yeah, it's there. We see it. It's and we're just trying to get to it. Rapidly approaching. <laughs> just trying we're just, to man. fucking get to it. Should we cut the five minutes and make this a 40-minute ramble? <laughs> I don't know if we can last another 11 Do minutes. Do the people want five more minutes I of Dexter? I don't know. They might, they, might, or they might be done if anyone is even <laughs> listening at this point. This feels This might like, be the ramble that ends it. Do you think? Maybe. Because I think we kind of saved the New Year's ramble. We did. We had some heartfelt talk at the end. Wait a minute, though. This blaze of glory. Oh, that's true. Schindler's List ending. We had some. Wake we had, up in the morning and I did we talk about Runaway in this one? That was yes, this one, right? Yeah, this we had one. Runaway. This was Runaway. This is come on. Oh, this is a solid ramble. They, I take it all back. This is like Luca getting a, a forty point triple double before the fourth quarter. Yeah, this is. I take it all back. This is a solid <laughs> this ramble. This is like. This is a solid, solid this ramble. This is a great one. I. I Should we re remind the people about next week as a yes, regular ramble? My God. Ramble at the ramblepod.com. We're back to normal. Ramble 215. Twitter at Podcast Ramble 1. Instagram Podcast Ramble. Please buy our merch. Please do that. Uh, we have a What Hat Does Weird Al Wear into the po- parody Hall of Fame. Yes. What song is on his hat? Yes. Uh, the Ghostbusters throw a concert. Ghostbusters films. What is your open close encore? Yes. My encore is going to be controversial. Really? I think You're so. calling that shot I'm now? calling it right now. Okay. Top 10 Rise of Skywalker moments and there's a lot of them there's a lot i think i i'm boy man so your encore it's is a bobby brown we're not saying anything I, no. my lips are sealed <laughs> my lips are sealed over here. just like that junky whore's lips are sealed <laughs> pushy lips are sealed so you that crack because she tried to masturbate with crazy glue. by that death stick that's <laughs> up a vagina they say that's the best place to do it like you know he knows other shit you know the best time from a death stick, Obi, is to shove it up your asshole and you'll, leave it there for four minutes. <laughs> you'll pee green for a month, but you'll it's worth it. You'll see purple forever. It's worth it, Obi. You know, Camino's right next to the planet of all the people that choke when they come. <laughs> all right, Dex. Can you just help me? I just with, need to know about this Camino dart, Dex. Start. Well, I'm just saying, if you have some time on your hands. I'm just saying, and never they, whenever they they procreate, they choke themselves. There's some wobwobs who live <laughs> on the planet next door. <laughs> they pee on you when they fuck you, but let me tell you something, Obi. Their pee tastes like lemonade. It's unbelievable. <laughs> so you don't mind it so you much. You don't mind it at all. <laughs> um, okay, but this... Don't, hold on, one other thing. <laughs> you ever been shit on by a Twi'lek? It's unbelievable, Obi. <laughs> I mean, they're a dirty, filthy race. You but... think you wash? You think you take a shower? You're gonna need eight more, even though it's all already gone. The residue is still there. It's like sticky cotton candy, <laughs> and it tastes better. I can't explain it, Obi. I mean, I've never eaten shit from another species before. But you have, because that's what's in my burgers that you come for every day. <laughs> that's what all these people that's are eating. That's what all they are. Just Twilight shit. It's Twilight shit. <laughs> What do you think's in the Jawa juice, Obi? Oh, fuck. What do you think a Nerf burger is? <laughs> Twilight shit. I, oh, fuck. <laughs> and Gamorrean piss. You think Coppola... And <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, Gamorreans, uh, they all got three warts on their penis edge. But if you pop them, it's good luck. Okay, all right, man. Can you just help me? With- you ever seen a Gamorrean foreskin, Obi? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You could hide in it if you had to, <laughs> in a pinch. You could wrap your little Jedi speeder inside of it. Anyway. <laughs> Gamorreans have to get circumcised when they're born. Where are we at? Otherwise, they'll tangle up and suffocate in their own foreskin. Hey, Obi, I fucked that droid over there. Isn't that crazy? I shut it down every night. <laughs> I came inside of it, too. I shut it down. I come inside of it. Every night I do. <laughs> you can't stop me. Nobody. Anyway, let me look at this. Part. I never got to oil the thing. Anyway, what's this you brought me? <laughs> <laughs> the, X, the X-rated version of Dexter <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Oh. oh god Oh man That's... You ever titty fucked a hut before Gobi? Let me tell you something Male or female You're gonna get your money's worth pal. <laughs> it doesn't matter Same sex organs on both Doesn't matter at all The tits on a male or a female It looks the same <laughs> You ever fucked the fat skin of a hut before Gobi? <laughs> Oh fucking Christ 
shit. Let me tell you, you, you haven't came like you came the, when you fucked the fat fold of a hut before, Opie. Oh, Jesus. You know who comes differently than everyone else? <laughs> <laughs> that little catfish thing that was next to Lando <laughs> in Return of the Jedi. Need numb. Those things, whatever they are, it takes them five months to finish using. They come forever. They come can't get any them. work done. And all they do is come. Worst come employees come in the galaxy. <laughs> Fucking unreal. I thought I'd boost them around and let them come. In the <laughs> but they got to call in, in sick for five weeks. It's impossible to deal with, Obi. And I got to pay their medical benefits. Anyway, let's see. Uh, <laughs> this looks like a clone of Don's from Camino. <laughs> <laughs> Oh fuck! <laughs> oh fucking hell! Oh oh god! That is there. You go. Huh? Yeah, that was good. That was. I thought, huh? Best one of the year ever already. <laughs> Two, I mean, all the other rambles of 2020 got a lot of competition. Yeah, they got a lot. The they, bar has been set, my friends. High, <laughs> high, real high. Man, should we? Forty minutes. You think we're good? Forty one. I, I think the people have had enough. <laughs> Because we're just going to keep going with Dexter. <laughs> we just have to. Right, Obi. Well, we want to thank you. But let us be ourselves. Yes. Save that one. Even that's only for the for the traditional ramble. Yeah. And I you brought it up out for this. For this they one. earned it. They earned it. If they there sat through this, they earned no it. No shit. We love you guys. We'll see you next week. Next week with a real ramble. All back to normal. All back to normal. All right. Hope you enjoyed Bring it. Your Bring your shit. We love you guys so much. Thank you for listening. Hope you're having a great. Hope you had a great. Now that you officially can say the holidays are over. Yes, back hope to normal. Hope you had a great one. Get back in the groove. Get back in the groove, and here we are in our groove. Yes. This is That's our. That's right. Jesus. That. <laughs> oh fuck! How quick does he beat Batman? I was not even close. Fuck your fucking second. He scrambles eggs with one of his arms. This guy's whining about his Flips dinner. burgers with his other arm. Beats the shit out with his other two arms. And gives uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi advice while he's doing all of it. <laughs>